Hello, it's Noir Nerd, and this is an update on the uh, FPS starter pack for Play Canvas project, which uh, I've been working on with a few of us over the last few weeks. Oh, over just over a month now, I think. So the starter pack project is a attempt to create a sort of template for first-person shooter games within Play Canvas. Ah, this is just a blog to update on progress, overall general progress, and to show a little bit of what we've done so far. There's still some a lot of um, loose edges to um, tie off, but it's it's starting to make some progress now. It's starting to look a bit better. Um, basically, I'm just going to give a general overview on what's improved. So, if you're interested, watch. So, I've got a play canvas open here, uh, the editor and the project, and so obviously we've done so we've done a lot of menu updates, which is good. I just just literally did the skin swap on the background. So that's the general menu screen, but let's just play. So we can, the idea is to create like three levels, uh, one of which is more in progress than the others. So level one is going to be generated terrain level with some enemies. Level two is a snow level that one of the other um, uh, editors is working on. And level three is the sort of like what I'm using is the main level at the minute for my, it's just sort of like a, a sort of an industrial area, I guess. So we've got a settings. There's, there's nothing there at the minute, but just these these pages go through two other things. Uh, okay, so let's go to maybe level three first, I guess. So this is level three. So as you can see, it's like a sort of, I guess, quasi-Soviet area. Or like factory area, I guess. Quite generic. But uh, this is quite nice. I think I like the statue I've added here, and I just started to try and create some level design. The focus isn't going to be on level design in this project because it's the, basically a starter pack. So I'll just go over some of the new features I've added. So we've got the health, of course. We've now added ammo. So if I shoot, that goes down. We've got a sort of light light flare that. A flash that is generated every time you shoot as well. Obviously, sounds the bullets different. Though we need to do some more work on that because it's currently facing the wrong direction. If I see you carefully, it's facing the wrong direction. Okay, so uh, you can pick up ammo clips now. I'm getting shot at enemies. That's the enemy. So enemy scripting needs improving a lot. Um, but started adding. So his animation state changes now, so if he attacks me, you'll see this in a second. So you see it this state changes, need to blend it, because at the minute it looks really weird. So if we get near him again, he's going to attack me, probably. And this, this is obviously wrong. But um, I only started playing with that basically yesterday. Uh, the health pickups now destroy themselves. So I just picked up a bit of health. I need to add a sound for that though. I added a sound for the ammo pickups too. Uh, yeah, and then also I did, though it's still a bit buggy, is an escape and then uh, resume and go back to menu. Okay, just level one. Some of the updates that have been done. Still seems a bit laggy in places, so I need to work on that too. So we go back to the escape scheme. Seems to lose focus sometimes. So I need to work on that too. Then level one's like the generator terrain level, which is the original one I was working on before. So yeah, definitely still bodies. I can't move. But yeah, so starting to just work on more things to go on level one again. Still buggy, like it seems to be when it switches between uh, scenes. Sometimes it goes a bit. I think it's something to do with that. Got you. I've also, before I was setting the um, enemy count just with a number, whereas now it actually dynamically finds the uh, number of enemies somewhere at the top. There is so zero bad guys now. Maybe not. I don't know. It was working. <laughs> it was working. I think it works on level three. 
Uh, oh no, oops, lazy. Wrong thing to do. Um, so yeah, lots of work still to do. It's good that we've got started to get basic animation support in. That was, I was afraid that was good. So that was basically done with setting a state for the animation. Let's just see on here if it. Obviously, the NMI AI needs a lot of improvement. It's sort of very spatially set up just to move. Yeah, there, there are one bad guys, you can see it there. So that's what works on this map. There's probably some serious stuff I have to do. And I'm going to probably change the enemies firing. Probably the firing frequency as well, because if you... It seems a bit... It's a bit too difficult at the minute. Like, it's unforgiving. And then obviously I need to do some... Because the animation looks twitchy and weird. Go on, fire at me. Fire at me. And also it doesn't face my direction when you're actually shooting. Which you should do. The, the model should rotate in space to face me, which it doesn't presently. So it's still overall quite buggy, but we've got some fundamental things in place, which is good. I think if I get shot and found on fire as well. That was happening before, but yeah, you just go further back to the death screen or the menu screen. So generally, pretty happy with the progress. Considering I'm only doing this um, when I have a little bit of spare time off of work, it's coming on all right. And also the other people are contributing and doing very well. We've got an agent ninja who's contributing quite a lot. And I think will help quite a lot, especially with the pathfinding uh, and the AI sort of developments. But yeah, I sort of wanted just to do a quick video update on where the FPS starter pack for Play Canvas is at. If you check out the project as you want now like i said it's not finished hopefully in a few months it will be done uh i mean these things take time as the smith said <laughs> uh, as morrissey said of the smiths these things take time uh but yeah so that's an update on the project uh i'll keep it sweet and short like and subscribe if you like the content this is videos are either tutorials or um overviews on projects like this one so yeah if you like that uh subscribe and uh like help me with my algorithms